Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to quickly write select query in SQL Server. We are going to write this query for single table. So first of all, we will be opening SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. We'll go to Connect and then go to Database Engine. Once we are there, we have to select the SQL Server instance name. So once uh, you select the instance name and hit Connect, you will see all the databases uh, you have on that SQL Server instance. We are going to Tech Brothers IT database and then I'm going to tables. Here I have multiple tables with different schemas. So you can see I have DBO schema and I have TB schema. Let's say if I would like to select all the records from a total sale table, what I can do, I can go to the new query and then I can type select asterisk from and then I have to type or drag the table name. So first of all, let's type it DBO total sale. This is one way to write your query and it will return you all the records from that table. So execute, it returned us 22 rows. Now the same query, if I would like to say select asterisk from and I can drag the name from here. So I don't have to type the name of the table with schema. So I can simply drag it. It will return the same records as it is exactly the same query we have typed. Now, if we would like to get the data from tb.totalsale, that's a tech brothers schema and table name is total sale. So we can remove this part and then go ahead and drag tb.totalsale table. Now here we see only 11 records. Let's say if you will not mention the schema at all. So it is going to return you the records from a DBO schema table. So you see here we have total sale table in two schemas. We have in DBO and we have in TB. If you will not mention or type the schema, it is going to use the DBO schema table for you. So you see this one has 22 records. Great. Now, Select asterisk gives us all the columns for that table or view. Now, if we are interested to see those columns here, we can also use a quick way to bring those columns here. First of all, let's say we write select and then go to the table. So click on the plus sign and you will see the columns tab here. So you can click on any table and you will see this columns tab. Let's say if we want to get all the records from tb.total sale table for all the columns. So here I need to bring all those columns. So drag this columns tab here. It will type or write all those columns for you. So now you see that this is long list of the columns. So I, I hit enter to in break in two rows. And then I can go ahead and say from and drag the table name. So we are all good here. So you see that it is a uh, select query with all the columns uh, and uh, we are getting data from tb dot total sale table uh, so this is one quick way when you can create uh, the list of uh, the columns uh, and you can see which columns you are using in your select query also sometime uh, we don't want to use asterisk because there are say we don't want to see the id so bring in the column will help you and uh, you can remove the columns you don't need uh, so this way you you can prepare your select queries uh, really quick uh, okay so you have to make sure uh, if you are deleting some columns you are taking care of the commas after those uh, columns now it's look, looking good the third way if uh, you want to select all all the columns from a table and then you can modify that select query that will be right click in, uh, on the table and say select the top thousand rows uh, thousand can be in uh, depending on your uh, um, settings in ssms uh, that might be select top 200 rows so it doesn't really matter you select uh, this uh, uh, select top x rows part here once you have it it will get uh, this top thousand or top 200 or whatever the settings you have you can delete that part and leave the columns there so you can execute and you can see we have all those columns one good thing about this part is that if if you guys have noticed that if I'll say select uh, and then bring the columns from let's say from the same table we will bring the columns let me bring the columns from customer and drag it here 
and then we have to say type uh, debut customer okay you see that uh, the columns are coming with comma but they're coming in the same row so that's the uh, kind of you have to uh, adjust them or uh, you have to uh, make them uh, if you want to have them in, in each of them in new line uh, you have to kind of go back uh, and uh, start doing by yourself uh, so this is where uh, you can spend some time uh, just formatting them in a way you want but if uh, you will use the same uh, technique uh, select top uh, X rows uh, so it will bring the columns uh, in uh, well formatted uh, so you can see that you just need to remove and now you have columns already formatted the way pretty much this this looks much better instead of you have all the columns in one row so it's your choice these are different techniques where you can drag the table name drag the column names or you can use right click and say select top thousand rows uh, i hope you learned something good from here and i will see you guys in next video